Good morning, I'm Maricel Halili. This is One News Now. Authorities in Oriental Mindoro are ramping up evacuation efforts as the effects of Typhoon Roli have been felt earlier than expected. Let's check the situation on the ground with Justin Punsalang reporting live from Pola Oriental Mindoro. Justine, what's the latest over there? Marisol, 1,000 families or around 5,000 individuals have already uh, went to the different evacuation centers in uh, Pola Oriental, Mindoro. Mayor Jennifer Cruz said the evacuation was supposed to start at 1 p.m. today. However, residents took the initiative to leave their homes as early as Saturday night. This is true to the fear that Roli will repeat will be a repeat of the onslaught of Typhoon Quinta. Before leaving their homes, residents made sure that they still have houses to return to after the storm's rampage. Many were seen tying roofs or making last-minute repairs, while others were placing their furnitures on elevated spaces. While the preparations are underway, the LGU warns that the emergency funds are practically depleted. This is why as early as now, they are asking for the national government to provide financial assistance. This, as the, as the town is still reeling from Typhoon Quinta that brought extensive damage to properties and crops. Marisol, we are currently in uh, Victoria um, Oriental Mindoro. And unlike the, uh, all the uh, torrential rains experienced in Pola, we are just experiencing consistent uh, light to moderate rains. And despite the fact that we are in a tropical cyclone signal, to be experiencing the strong winds brought about by Typhoon Roli. Marisol? Well, Justine, it is unfortunate that the country is experiencing a typhoon now that we are still facing COVID-19 crisis. So how do local officials assure that the health protocols are still being followed now that the, especially in evacuation centers since we are still under a pandemic? Yes. Marisol, just to give you an idea of how many cases there is here in the whole province of Oriental Mindoro, there is a barely 2,000, around 1,900 uh, total COVID cases, 1,700 of which have already recovered. In uh, Pola earlier, we noticed that many, if not most, of the residents are actually not wearing their, uh, their face masks. Uh, Mayor Cruz actually expressed concern that she's not able, she's not, she's having a hard time implementing social distancing inside evacuation centers because right now the evacuation centers have reached full capacity, which is why she is asking residents who have enough space in their homes to, to, uh, to, uh, to accept their fellow men who are, uh, who have, uh, who are not able to enter the, uh, evacuation centers because it is already full and that is actually what their uh, residents their fortunate residents have enough space in their homes are offering for the other for the other uh, less at their homes marisol all right thank you that was justin punsala reporting live from oriental mindoro stay safe the government's Disaster Coordinating Council assures the public that concerned agencies have prepared for the impact of Raleigh. NDRRMC head Ricardo Halad said that based on the current projected track of the typhoon, as much as 31.9 million people are at risk. Halad, however, noted that preemptive evacuations have already been carried out, especially in areas within the Raleigh's path. As of now, the total number of uh... Uh, families and individuals preemptively evacuated, number 96,543 families, uh, composed of 346,993 individuals. As of now, there is no monitored casualties yet and cost of damage. The Transportation Department suspends all operations of Metro Manila Rail Lines. DOTR Assistant Secretary Goddess Libiran said the LRT Lines 1 and 2 as well as the MRT 3 have been closed temporarily. Libiran added that she expects the PNR to follow suit after its current trip has been completed. The official explained that all rail line operations should be automatically halted under signal number 3 and above. As for the latest in weather, Raleigh has weakened into a typhoon and is now off the coast of Pasakao Camarines Sur.
Pag-asa said Rolly is expected to move towards the Marinduque Quezon area this afternoon. It now packs maximum winds of 215 kilometers per hour and gustiness of up to 295 kph. The typhoon is forecast to exit mainland Luzon and emerge over the West Philippine Sea between tonight and early Monday morning. Signal number 4 is still raised over in Albay, Catanduanes, Camarines Norte, Camarines Sur, northern portion of Sorsogon, Burias Island, as well as the central and southern portions of Quezon and Rizal. Also included in the list are Batangas, Cavite, NCR, Laguna, Marinduque, Quezon, Pampanga, Bulacan, Bataan, southern portions of Aurora, and Zambales, and parts of the Mindoro provinces. Meanwhile, signal number 3 is up over the rest of Sorsogon, northern portion of Masbate, rest of Zambales, Romblon, the rest of Mindoro provinces, Tarlac, southern portion of Nueva Ecija, central Luzon of Aurora, and northern Samar. The rest of Aurora, Nueva Vizcaya, Quirino, Benguet, La Union, Pangasinan, rest of Nueva Ecija, rest of Masbate, Parts of the Samar provinces, extreme northern portion of Antique, and the northwestern portion of Aklan are under signal number two. The Weather Bureau has also placed several other areas in Luzon and Visayas under signal number one. For more updates, visit News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World Online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News Live anytime, anywhere. I'm Aris Halili. We are One News.